I want to Kate Miller Fortet and Nadina Stan Gallery. I want to welcome the people in the gallery, Nadina Oga, August and Nadine, the families at Town Galair. And I want to say, look, this is heart rendering. I mean, they've come to the convention centre last year. They've come to the front of the door in a most dignified and profoundly professional manner. People, their homes are falling around them. We have then so-called followed the science. We heard a lot about science during COVID, and much of that science was wrong too. So why won't you follow the science here? You try to bring us nose first, dip our nose into the science there. This is an abject uh, failure, but not by the ministers certainly, but certainly by the department officials as well. That fail and refuse to listen to anyone else knows better. Because these are the people that are dictating and are unchallenged and getting away with it. Everybody knows, everybody knows that anybody that stood in any building site ever, and I must declare I'm a plant contractor myself, uh, that the foundation is the most important part of any building, uh, any organisation, or anything else. And to leave out the foundations is just pure mockery. Because uh, the couple of layers of blocks to rise up the subfloors, the, the walls, the rising walls to fill up with screed in and fill up with, with concrete. So how could you leave out the foundations, because they will crack and they will crack and, and, and rumble and they will crack every bit of the house, even if there's no, if you build foundations and have no mica or no pyrite, that will happen. And it has happened many places if there are poor foundations but there are enough steel or if you're bad ground. So why won't the department take off their shoes and go out and see the houses? This is so long here and the way it's been rushed through here in the final days of the final uh, summer recess is despicable. The housing committee have offered to deal with the amendments but you won't allow them to deal with it and I salute Richard and who's on the housing committee and are willing to give the time with many others, Deputy O'Brien and others, to deal with it. So it's a rush through on shaky foundations and you've been warned time and time again and that you're on shaky ground here and you're on, you're on shaky ground but you have no empathy, you have no sorrow or sympathy or respect for the ordinary people. When we see, unfortunately, thank God we don't get them here, earthquakes and things like that and we see houses wrecked or even in the situation with the war now. But this is happening on an incremental and an hourly and a minutely and an hourly and a daily basis in people's homes. The people who are brave enough to put their hands in their pockets to get up early in the morning and go out to work, to get a mortgage and to build their own house. Many of them built it themselves, many of them got contractors. And all the while, you'll turn your, uh, uh, you'll turn your eyes away from the real problem. The big conglomerates are supplied to concrete. And to think that this scheme might go ahead, and probably will go ahead, in year manner, and to think that the, the concrete and the aggregate and the blocks could come from the same uh, sand pits or rock pits that, that it came from already, that beggars belief. It just goes through one thing to me, Minister, nothing pleasant to you, that your government here and successive governments are beholding to big business. I've attended CRH AGMs out in the, some fancy hotels here in Dublin to fight for people who were wronged by that company in the past, grievous wrong. And we've seen it all over the world, what's gone on, and the challenges, and the court cases, and the settlements. And you're happy that these qualities and some more friends of Fianna Fáil who are qualities, and are untouchable. They shall not be named. You can't go near them. They are our friends. Well, those days are gone. The people up here must be looked after. The people of Donegal, the people of Mayo, the people of Limerick, and many other counties. And we have an amendment there. We have a number of amendments down, which we won't get time, I'm sure, to move or discuss properly. But we want to extend it to Tipperary as well. Because remember, Bunratty quality is only over the border from us in Tipperary. I collect the roof tiles out of myself when I was doing an extension to my house, only over the border. So what do you have? The mockery is over, the shenanigans are over and should be over. So get real, get down and dirty, get the proper foundations, and if you only put a stone upon a stone, it'll be so much done. But you build a, a castle on bad foundations, you might as well have a, a sand castle. When the first bit of rain will come, it'll, it'll melt. I've met families outside the gate here, to have a moat in the and they are afraid of uh, yellow warnings and orange warnings in case the house will collapse around them. Just imagine living in that fear, Minister Burke. Just imagine living in that fear because the walls were crumbling. They showed me the aggregate and tight plastic bags it came that morning in, in, in solid knobs of it, and yet it was brush when it came to here. A crusher wouldn't crush it as well. So, and the qualities are exempted. The big business is gone again. Go back to PMPA, the bailout for insurance. Go back to the meat uh, numbers, the Goodman Empire, bailed out again. Here we are. 
Don't, don't speak to Close their eyes. Don't even look at the quarries. Don't oh, keep away from them in case they'll be, we, they might be any, uh, we might have to pay back any of the bankrolling that they did to the political, political parties. Thank People you. are more important. The old oh, bankers, of course, everyone knows the bankers, but they're untouchable. They paid back 70 or 80 million last week here. Who oh, whose money? And people's money that they have that they've that they've wronged on different markets and so what kind of a banana republic is this? And the people of 1916 and 21 and 22 give their lice and spit their blood for to have this kind of a charade going on here. It's outrageous, Minister. Not pleasant to you, but you are part of the government. You are the junior minister. Of course, Rambo, our Minister Burke, sorry, Minister Minister uh, O'Brien, uh, Lindy said Ray Burke, he ran away from the debate here again today because he, that he got good schooling from the schools, the masters out there in North Dublin who did so much havoc in this country. I'm talking about former senators and former deputies and former ministers who ended up out here in disgrace. So this is going to end up in disgrace. So I plead with you, take it back, make it right, start from the foundations upwards. Go on, good. Thanks, Deputy. Moving on now to our next speaker, Deputy Ciarán O'Donnell, you have seven minutes. Thanks very much, uh, uh, Um Minister, uh, I'm a TD for Limerick City, and 